Yo, Kate, uh, you're coming by the party later, right? Hey, Mikey. I was hoping I could stay home tonight, actually. If that's okay with you. What? <laughs> no, it's not okay. I'll look like an idiot if my own girlfriend doesn't show up to my party. You're coming. I'm sorry. Of course I'll be there. Um, hey, I know you like podcasts, so I sent you one I think you might like. Hey, thanks, babe. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll give it a little center now. Great. I'll see you at the party. Bye. Bye. Call it karma, call it fate, but people usually get what's coming to them. And some people truly deserve the worst. Some people who have never once considered how their actions affect others will be forced to face their reckoning. Today on The Woman in White, I will discuss someone who deserved exactly what was coming to him. It was a normal fall evening when it happened. A perfect night for a party, or so he thought. As he glances at the colorful sneakers of a neighbor passing by, he believes that he is untouchable. He has never experienced resistance, rather, none he couldn't remove with a fist. He was a man who believed he deserved everything. A good job, an education, women, he believes he is entitled to all of these. He watches someone drop their groceries across the street. He finds this funny. Empathy is the last thing he feels. Out of the corner of his eye, he sees his little brother at an upstairs window. He is banging. He seems distressed. Our man has never cared about others, so why should he start now? He goes back to the task at hand. Now, he may be a brute, but he is not dumb. By now, Michael has caught on to what is going on. He knows I am talking to him. I would like Michael to know why this is happening. Michael has always felt entitled to whatever he wants, but now he is getting exactly what he deserves. Thank you for listening to The Woman in White.